How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video guys We have got the 1967 Chevy Impala here. So I in the guys didn't see last video I go check that one out. Um, I cleaned it up. I got the rust fixed. I got the body fixed uh, All the new panels windows tires rims suspension brakes all that um, If you looked out there here, you can see all that's good to go and all we really have left to do which I'm gonna get started on now is the engine and the drivetrain and then fuel i guess fuel too um but that's all we really have left to do so let's get that done and then we're gonna take this thing and see how it does um just driving it around i think we'll make a few uh uh probably a few laps around the track with it i think was what i'm gonna try out um but i told you guys i would look up and see what the uh paint codes were for this uh see if these were if the one that has on there is anything um similar or close in any manner let me get that out um and it is so this is a fairly close um i don't know different sources say different things um it's fairly close to what they call nantucket blue um so that's what i'm gonna say is this is and we're gonna leave it at that um two-tone stuff on the inside is it kind of um but yeah that's what we're gonna say that this is it's gonna we're gonna say it's just nantucket blue so we'll leave it at that um, I'm probably not I'm, not, I'm not gonna change it since it's got something at least pretty close. Uh, one thing I could do is I could change the rims out and give it to more of a muscle car-y looking rim. Um, this will work for now because I just wanted to do the restoration because it's what it came with. Um, but yeah, so just figure I'd fill you guys in on that. So let's finish, let's get going on the motor here. Um, as you guys can tell, pull the camshaft out. There's not really much left in it. It's got a spark plug left in it, but there's not really any other heads. Um, all the valve push rods are gone, rocker, rocker arms are gone. Uh, yeah, heads, intake, a couple of the pistons. Looks like almost every connecting rod's gone too. A rod cap at least, that's, that's pretty crazy. But yeah, so this thing is definitely seen better days. So we are doing a restoration on it, but the restoration will be most likely um, almost all new parts just because, uh, yeah, well, I will keep the same engine, of course, if I can get it repaired at least. <laughs> um, but other than that, it'll be pretty much new parts here. All right, so that's done. So we repaired a bunch. Let's see what we, what do we break? Okay, so we saved the block. We saved that. Okay, so that's a good start right there. Block. And crankshaft in good shape camshafts in good shape too all right so now we're gonna go buy everything I see on screen really quick here so let's start with the bottom end so pick up our pistons we're gonna need eight there we go oh, what have we caught uh, rod we're gonna need our rod caps then we're gonna also get 16 valve push rods and 16 rocker arms i should be able to buy pretty much this entire thing in one go here if i remember everything oil v8 get this pan and this one hopefully those are the correct ones uh engine head oh i did zero <laughs> overhead valve there we go um two of those so there's the head stuff uh, we'll do uh, V8 overhead valve timing stuff. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, I'll go for the timing. There's the chain. There's our cover. Uh, get the cam gear for this one. Where's it at? Okay. And then we'll also get our alternator, power steering pump. Yeah, do the regular V8 one, I think, is what we should be running with. And then we'll also do V8 overhead valve. Oh, I keep doing zero. V8 overhead valve serpentine. There we go. So it's going to do the regular serpentine belts, no supercharger or anything like that. And then for ignition, we're going to be grabbing a coil, um, distributor cap, distributor rotor, and distributor itself. I think we also might need... Uh, two pieces, two clips with that. Yeah, two clip B's. 
Uh, let's think. What else could I be missing here? Uh, fuel stuff. We'll get a fuel filter. We won't get the pump because I know we already have a pump chilling. Um, we'll get the crankshaft. Bearing cap. Uh, I think this one requires three. Okay. There we go. I bought a very large majority of everything we're going to need here. Um, I'm going to slap on the front stuff here really quick. And then I think we should be good to... Wow, I got... I got pretty close to everything I was needing, I think. Except for water pump and some of those things. Well, there we go. Now that our timing is good to go, we get the oil filter put on, and now we can get the pistons going. Probably should start with the pistons, obviously, but oh well. Okay. Let's get these bearing caps in. And then I'm expecting this thing to make its stock horsepower numbers. Um, but that's better than what it was running because it was running obviously way under that because this thing was in shambles. All right, so we'll finish up our bottom end here. Uh, do the clutch and transmission side and then... Uh, move to the top end and then the front end. That's how I'm going to tackle this. Oh, I also forgot we did not get our uh, manifolds. Exhaust or intake. That's fine, though. All right. I did not realize that this oil pan encompasses the front end of the timing. Interesting, though. More rotation. Then we'll get... Okay, gotta get a new flywheel. Oh, wait, let me grab that while we're there. And then I think we saved our clutch and possibly the pressure plate. Either that or the pressure plate's done for. Yeah, pressure plate's done for. back over here no water pump available checking to see if we had some leftover parts on some of this oh geez wow we have a plus four quality and a plus two quality you know what? we'll use those on here actually might as well use the extra quality parts on here. I honestly, even to this day, guys, don't really know what the extra quality parts do to these um, cars. But, you know, it's all right. Okay, let's go pick up spark plugs. Get eight of those. Let's get our overhead valve manifolds. Why am I missing these? There they are. Get this one, not the supercharger, but the regular one. I must be missing something here. Okay, I'll wait and see what it tells me to buy, because for some reason it's giving me... Oh, it's a carburetor, that's why. Duh. Okay, I was like, wait, something, something's wrong here, something's off. All right, and there's that. And now I'm going to go through really quick, guys, and get all of the valve push rods and the rocker arms in. This takes forever. Um, so I am just going to do that really quick. All right, so I got that done. Should we get our head covers on now? There we go. That head is fully assembled. Let's get our spark plugs in. I think I do need wires still for these two. There's some of the things I don't have. Get this head cover on. I'm I'm pretty uh pretty excited here actually to see how this is gonna end up running. I think it should run perfectly uh perfectly normal, but I don't know. For some reason with these older car mods, I just feel like some something, something special's gonna happen. 
I don't know whether that be if things gonna blow up on me or I don't know. Okay. And there's the last one. Alright, get our quad barrel in there. Do I have any extra ignition wires? I do! A plus one quality ignition wire, too. Look at that. I think that was from our last round of, uh, like, openings. Barn openings. We had a plus one quality performance air filter. That's pretty awesome. Okay, last thing, I think, is just the water pump. So, we'll just grab that. Uh, water pump. Jeez, there's a lot here. There's that one, that one. Hopefully these two should be it. Maybe throw on a pulley or two. No, there's not even any pulleys on here. Uh, or there's not even any, uh, like timing on here. It's just this. And then the radiator fan. Which is fine. Alrighty, sweet. And then that should be it for that. Should oh, should be able just to transplant it right in. Let's see what else do we have in here? Brake servo's bad. A leader C is bad. Okay, that's what I was thinking was probably gonna probably gonna happen. Master brake cylinder. Uh, let's go grab that battery really quick. Thank you. Um, we'll do underside next. I gotta pick up a new fuel tank for this bad boy. Old one is guaranteed to be rusted out. Alright, a couple extra fuel pumps. Oh, I didn't realize we had three extra <laughs> overhead valve gearboxes uh, just chilling around. It's nice to know though. Uh, V8 overhead valve C front exhaust. V8 overhead valve. Let's do exhaust. See if we can pulse up anything else. So there's the C one, and I don't know if we need uh, double cat, double mid pipes. I'm not sure yet. Uh, no drive shaft. Oh, looks like this thing doesn't have any other exhaust. <laughs> it looks like we're pumping it straight out from the cats, and that's it. Um, that is one of the issues with these mods though, is sometimes, um, they're not, like, obviously right here with the drive shaft, it doesn't quite fit up to where that is, and there's not any, um, exhaust after these little, <laughs> these little down pipes here, but that's okay. Uh, what are we missing here? Oh, that part. Uh, yeah, battery, okay. Alright, so let's get some oil in it, get the battery put in, and then... I think we are golden. We are gonna take this, uh, like I said, on the on a little racetrack. Uh, not, I think that not the big track, but just a little little track. Test it, see how it runs. I just realized we're gonna need some front seats before we can do that too. So I will have to figure out the seat here. But I think I saw what it said. Though. I think it says we need a Bowen seat. So I go in here and I just do Bowen. Ah, there's the bench bow in front. Insert. All right, now we are at 100, 100, 100. Uh, 248 horsepower, thirty-nine thousand dollars for this restored one. You know what? That's not that's not bad at all. Uh, we're also gonna take this over to the dyno really quick. Make sure it's putting down the power. It should be putting down. What was that exact? Was it 245? 248. It does have a few uh, extra plus like two or plus three quality parts, and I think it's a plus two and a plus four. Um, so I'm not sure what that'll do for us, but I'll find out here. Okay. We held consistent numbers, and that is what I like to see. All right. Well, I was worried that was not going to be exactly uh, consistent, but... We are perfect. We are, we are exactly stock as we should be. So that is a that is a success on the restoration here. 
Uh, racetrack. Speed track. Not speed. I'm going to race track. All right. Let's take around the racetrack and see how it does. Um, I don't want to drag strip test it, obviously, because that's just kind of overkill. But, you know, that's okay. All right. Loading. Okay. Yeah, this is normal, normal racetrack here. Pretty slow off the start, but that's okay. I think one of the achievements in this game is to put down a really quick lap time. Whoa! This game does not like... Uh, the driving is very, very interesting. I'll say that. seems like I might need to put an extra gearbox in this actually or put a custom gearbox in there so I can actually change around um, change around some of the gearing here well looks like one lap's probably gonna take us about a minute here so ah we crashed it dang it I do have the vintage race tires on though guys so it's not the worst tires in the world so I'm not sure All right, I'm cutting that I'm not sure why we are sinning or spinning out so bad All right, clip that edge all right we'll just get this one lap in Wow a minute and what 20 seconds looks like we got it up to about a hundred yeah so it took us a minute and 21 seconds um, Ooh. Oh, and we threw it in the wall. Okay, so obviously not ideal, not your ideal race uh, race car, but that's uh, that's okay. Um, but there we go, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I really enjoyed uh, working on this '67 Impala here. Uh, it's nice to work on the older ones uh, every once in a while. I mean, I do quite a bit, but um, these older like classics right here. I need to find. Uh, I think the next one I was gonna look for was a Chevelle. Um, but yeah, there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and a comment down below letting me know uh, what you guys liked or what new cars you guys want to see next. Um, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, but until further ado, I'll see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.